The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell, make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Christianity is a father-son relationship. It is a transforming relationship. And we do not have to reduce it to superstition and calendar. Now we have been adopted into the family of God. We have all the privileges and responsibilities because we are real sons of the mighty God. And we said because of the adoption to the greater God, as his children, success is basic for all of us. Proverbs 10 verse 6 says that blessings crown the head of the righteous. So whether you like it or not, this is the word of God. That blessings crown the head of the righteous. So our abilities may differ, but success is for all of us. We said that you may not have a great background, but yet blessings crown your head. Your parents might have been dead, but it doesn't matter. You are a child of God. Success is basic for you. What we need to do is to strive for good success. So we say, how do we achieve good success as How do we make maximum impact as Christians in our world? In the light of repositioning ourselves for maximum impact. I suggest three things. That we will reposition our mind. We will reposition our heart. We will reposition our hands. Then I'll add number four. We have to reposition your name. So we decided to discuss the repositioning our mind. That we are children of God, we are not slaves. To beggarly things. To superstition. To those by nature are not gods at all. And that we shouldn't reduce Christianity to mantles. Yeah, to the observance of stars. To dreams and visions. Yeah, to water and rings. And says, say, you might. To days and months and years. Because for real Christians, every day in is God's day. Every month is God's month. 2023 is God's year. So we need to emancipate ourselves from this slavery mentality because we are sons of God. We say superstition is a bluff. It will make you depend on it and you will become a slave. As I did say, no, one she ye pe a bema debia wa dino, wabe yakwa. My son, you are always with me. 
Lord that I have is yours. All we need to do is to grow up. Yeah, their rock is not like our rock. Even our enemies concede. So today we will discuss reposition your heart. Repositioning your heart. Reposition your heart. So I'm talking about following hard after God Himself. Taking pleasure in God Himself to the extent that He is your priority and pursuit. He is your fear and your delight taking pleasure in god so that he is your priority and pursuit that he is your fear and your delight a pure heart that makes room for god a heart that wants more of god a heart that tests and hunger after god himself psalm 63 verse 1 so verse 1 and 8 psalm 63 1 and 8 oh god thou art my god early i will seek thee my soul tests for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Unyankopon, when you mean Yankopon, may she show an upper hima, who succumb at Demekra, me, Unam, a pojo, repel who bribe, as a sepese are in so any so mano at pity a was now verse eight from the end. I mean, you move what you I cling to you, your right hand uphold me. Me crab batao hu e duachi won senifa e somimo. The King James says this. My soul followeth hard after thee. Just am the chess me cra e duachi ye pa. So the NIV simply says, I cling to you. Tin ye di kano e chess me cra e batao hu. And then the King James is saying that he saved me. But after saving me, my soul is following hard after him. Now, oh, children, no, I say what Jimmy and Qua now, Jimmy and Quanetti do me cry at Dinichi. Thy right hand upholds me. Now, Ninsenifa, a summum, very difficult. I'm following hard after God. The one that I'm following hard after his right hand is also holding me. Now, the Midinichi, a pan, or Ninsenifa, so a summum. Wonderful. Hey, one, one, papa. So we want to follow hard after God. Following hard means that you have to make some effort. Let's chase God Himself. Reposition your heart. Hey, to most people, God is an inference. Something that is assumed to be real. But not a reality. Yet to most church people, God is a deduction from evidence. Which they consider adequate. At least we see three, we see mountain, oh, there's God. Yeah, so adequate. But he remains personally unknown to the individual. I wanted to reposition her to follow hard after him. Others do not even others do not go even so far as this. They know of him only by hearsay. See, this notion about God is varied, but they who hold them have one thing in common. They do not know God 
in personal experience. They do not know God in personal I'm, I'm talking about most church people. The possibility of intimate relationship has not entered their mind. While admitting that he exists, they do not think of him as being knowable. In the sense that we know things and people. So in their mind, they don't think that God is knowable. So they don't chase after him. The God man, our Lord Jesus Christ. Our perfect example. Showed us how we can build a relationship with the mighty one. He taught us by example that God is knowable. And that we can relate deeply with him. That our heart can cling to God. Mark 1 verse 35. Mark 1 verse 35. Very early in the morning, Mark 1 35, please. That very early in the morning, while it was still dark. So, very early in the morning, the Bible says that while it was still dark, so it was not like uh, it was still dark, it was quite early in the morning, maybe 2 a.m. Getting to three there about or earlier than that. Now look at how he's following hard. Now to pick yourself from bed at that time of the day. Means business. That is why when he was trying to encourage Peter to pray and Peter will go back and sleep, he left him. <laughs> he said, You cannot just even pray with me for one hour. I'm praying that our hearts will follow hard after God. See, it is not enough to go to church. We need to reposition our hearts. God is knowable. He left the house and went up to a solitary place where he prayed. Solitary place. And he prayed. Now, when he goes, he will not go with the Bible. But we will have to go with the Bible. Because he is the word. As so we saw him in prayer, but we will have to go with the word and prayer. Luke 6 verse 12. Luke 6 verse 12. Now following hard after God. One of those days, Jesus went out to, the, to a mountainside to pray and spend the night praying to God. This is on the mountainside. Can you imagine the conditions that are there? But he spent the whole night alone praying. Today we tell our church houses. And then we dedicate it. But nobody spends one hour even in the night there. A congregation of about 500. The whole week you will not hear sound. When we decline all night, yes, 20 people will come. Our heart do not follow hard after God. But if we want to reposition the local church, we need to reposition our hearts first. 
That is Jesus, our example. So I want you to reposition your heart. And come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Come and taste and see that He is knowable. Now Psalm 34 verse 8. Then 9 to 10. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people. For those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. You see, brothers, we apprehend the physical world by exercising the faculties given to us for that purpose. It might be the same way in the new creation. We possess spiritual faculties. By, means, by which we can also know God. And navigate into the spirit world. If we obey the Holy Spirit's edge. And begin to use them. Use the spiritual faculties. See, when we got born again, the first thing that he did was to forgive us our sins. And then he filled our hearts with the Holy Spirit. So that our heart is connected to him. It is the beginning of knowing God. That connection, we should just keep that connection and then edge as the Holy Spirit edges us, let us draw closer to Him. Because you are son. God sent the Spirit of His Son into your heart. The Spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Now let's go to John chapter 16. Are we together? Follow hard after God. Let us repent tonight. Let us have a heart that is repositioned. John chapter 16. This is Jesus. From verse 12. I have, made, I have much more to say to you. More than you can bear now bear. But when he comma, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. You will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come? Jesus said, So the Spirit will come to us, and we will not speak of His own. He will tell us what He hears from God and the Spirit world. He will glorify me because it is from me that He will receive. And he will make it known to you. So the spirit will receive of God. And he will open it up to us. God is knowable. All that belongs to the Father is mine, says Jesus. That is why I said the spirit will receive from me when he will what he will make known to you. See, and the wonderful thing is that when the Spirit was coming to us, 
to indwell as he came with gifts. Those people who see there are some people who believe that they have the gift of healing and sometimes they cause too much problems in the church. Yes, yes, yes. So they want to go and start their church, they want to go and start their camp. See, you don't worry about them. And then, don't let us don't let us think that if they leave then there will be no healing in the church because wherever the spirit is all the giftings are present let them go you are there and when it is necessary, the spirit will activate that gift. Let no one say, for me, this is my gift. You have all, but you grow in the giftings. If you prophesy, open your eyes, exercise your spirit, heal as well. You see the Jesus we follow, he, he taught, he preached, he cast demons, he healed the sick, he, he, he operated in the word of knowledge, he even walked on the water. What gift is that one? <laughs> uh, Don't let us put premium on certain people. They are not the gods of the church. You have all. And that gives you the connection to know God and to operate in the spirit realm. I want to just put a comma here tonight. Because I want us to pray. Pray that spring up all well within my soul. So that others will be set free. The spirit has come. He has come to abide, abide in you. So we will be able to know God well. Let us reposition our heart. So we can know God better. Shall we rise wherever we are? Let us open our mouth and begin to pray.